Welcome back to this side of for you. This is your girl Lou and I just wanted to bring you guys my planner for this month and get a little bit more in depth so you guys can kind of get to see what it is I'm doing or not doing. All right. Okay, so this is how my my planner looks. And I know that's way out of focus. So let's get into it. Um so for the first week of the year, um it's plan this is how I had set it up. Um, these are, these little sticky notes are all the project pan things that I'm doing with the fantastic ladies. The numbers, like the times you see on the bottom of the pages, those are the hours I work those days. And so like even this day has the hours I work, but it has the sticky note telling me what video I'm supposed to be doing or catching up with. So today is the sixth and this is my planner day. And this is just like my monthly layout as far as like things I have to do. And it has my paydays and the savings. Okay, so this is week one. So I did all of these things. And then these are the meals I prepped on my off day. So we had salmon. Uh, lemon pepper salmon with rice pilaf, chick buffalo chicken, corn cabbage with um corned beef, yams and sweet potatoes, and they are like cooked on a in a roasting pan. Um, corn and broccoli as two other sides, and then this is the stuff I have to do for work. And at the bottom of each page, um, it's a thing we're doing at my salon. It's called Tip Game. Basically, we're making sure that we're accountable for our tips. And so that way um, we don't get off track. This fi high five right here, that's me and Ricky. And I didn't even get to write why the high five. But we got our $100 for our savings for the month already. And we haven't even gotten paid. Um, that's just from Ricky and I doing the things we do without um, spending money or going out for eating. So this week has been successful. I'm going into next week. So these are the things that I need for work. So tomorrow I have a meeting um, with my supervisor at a certain time. And then these are the things that we need at my job still like bread and chips. Because we, um, all the girls at my salon, we all pitch in and buy things in our refrigerator. So that we are able to eat at work and not um, eat out. Now Tuesday I work from 9 to 5. So on these two days, I usually eat at work. And then when I come home, if I'm still hungry, I'll eat the things that I prepped. Whatever's left that we prepped, we usually put in our freezer. And it's just like having a microwave removal meal. Um, and then here, I prep on Wednesday because that's my off day. And these are the things we already have. We have cabbage, chicken, pasta, and veggies. So more than likely, we'll probably buy one other meat and... Um, some, um, some pesto sauce, because that's what me and Ricky were talking about, and something to go with the cabbage. On Thursday, it's our bill day, and that's also the day I get paid, and Ricky gets paid in between me and then, so we just basically put all of our money together and take care of our bills. These are the day, the days, the times I work for the rest of the week, and what I do is I don't I don't go into every week until I get to that week because things are constantly changing. So this is the next week that's coming up. And this is, I just leave them blank until I get there. So hopefully that's helping you. Then this is why I like this planner. So this is how we keep a track for it. So since we're here, I'm going to show you guys how we do it. So since today's the 6th, we put 1, 6, and I'm sorry this is shaky, 19, amount on 100, and this is um, And our savings is 
a need for us. So these, this is how I do it. So like our bills are at the beginning of the month and I want to go back over this so I, you guys can see. So these are our monthly bills. And as I pay them, I go back to this page and I put them on here so that I can make sure that they are already paid. And then I could put the date so that way when we get to the end of the month, we know if we made it or not. And so then you can come over here and you can write name of the payment, due dates, amount, and if it was paid. And as we get them done, I write them here as far as the bills. Now our savings, because it's not a bill, I don't put it on that page. I just track our expenses like I need to get my scissors sharpened and that's money that we'll be spending and that's going to be on the 8th. And it's $120. And I just write work on it. And it's, it's, I'm doing it in cash. And it's also a need. So that way we can make sure that we're keeping track for every penny we spend. Um, I do like Stacy Flowers and Dean Ramsey's ideals on tracking all excess money. And my scissors being sharpened is something I do once a year. I don't have to sharpen them all the time. However, um, it is an expense that we incur. So as you've seen on my planner, um, we've been really diligent on staying on track. Ricky and I used to plan everything. We were really good at it. Um, but when grandma left us, we kind of like fell off. So we're back to it. Um, we haven't eaten out this week at all, which has been really, really good. So this is the first week back to being on track. And it makes it really nice because we're able to take care of things that we should ha be able to take care of on a regular basis easily if we just keep this up. Our goal is like once a month to go on a date. So all my excess after we take care of bills and everything, we plan for a date. We did go on a date, a cost date this month. So our next date is going to be an at home date. And we went to see the movie Aquaman. It was really good. Um, I've heard good and bad reviews on it. However, um, Ricky and I both like comics. So that was really good for us. If you have anything that you think could help us do better at this or if you like seeing more planning videos uh, please leave a message in the bar below i thank you for watching please like rate and subscribe have a nice one